Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play where guys, today I'm going to be using a new army, an army that I've not used in this Town Hall 9 Let's Play and it is... Drumroll please... Not this army, sorry, this is the first army that I have and I gotta use it up, but the second army is the Hog Rider army! Yes, I cannot wait, it's gonna be super awesome, it's still cooking, I've got a few minutes before it's gonna be done, but Hogs, guys, Hogs at Town Hall 9 are the bee's knees, they are the best of the best of the best, and I love them, so I'm excited about that. I got my king, I'm a queen, my queen's level 20, so we're gonna give the, uh, we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna use this P.E.K.K.A. army. I'm not gonna use my CC troops with that, by the way, and I'm not gonna use my heroes. This is gonna be straight up troops, and then the first queen walk of my Town Hall 9 Let's Play. Who's excited? Let me know in the comments. I'm excited. All right, let's go. So, uh, again, focusing on uh, Dark Elixir, I'm gonna just deploy the troops and the spells. No CC, no heroes. I'll be ready to go once that attack is over and I can't wait. This is the uh, this is actually the strategy that I, I used to use whenever I did a lot of Town Hall 9 attacks and war and stuff. Three star 90% of the time, probably, maybe a hundred percent of the time. Um, because it's just an amazing strategy. Now I don't know how effective it'll be with a level 20 queen as opposed to level 30 max level queen, but we'll find out, right? So, first of all, let me burn this army. I have found holy cannoli. <laughs> wow. With the loot bonus, this is going to be over a million gold in the elixir. That is nuts. I don't even need either one. I need the dark elixir, but crazy, bro. All right, all right, all right. Where's the other drill? Okay, so we got a drill up here. Cool. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put down, I'm going to do this kind of the way I've been doing it. I'm going to put down one P.E.K.K.A. and two wizards, and then one P.E.K.K.A. and two wizards. They'll get everything that I want them to get, and now I'm going to come in from this top side. So let's go... Uh, a couple of P.E.K.K.A., one, two, three wizards, and then a couple more P.E.K.K.A., another wizard or two, and then let's drop the wall breakers. There we go. I almost deployed my heroes there. <laughs> Glad I didn't. Okay, so rage. Let's actually heal. Let's drop another rage. Let's poison, and let's jump. And I don't care if I get to the town hall necessarily. What I want mostly is to make sure I get all the dark elixir the space has to offer, which I, I guess there's a lot of it in the town hall. Uh, and these these Pekka should get there just fine, but I'm just saying dude. That was a gnarly. It was crazy. That amount of loot was crazy uh, I won't three star it, so you know I won't get all of it, but I will get some and it will be glorious So Pekka are you okay? These get dude this Pekka she is taking some serious hits right now That is crazy. Did Klaus just say she? Yes, because the Pekka is a she. Okay, so there you go um, I could use you know what? I'm gonna use my Queen and snag a little bit more Gold? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab a little bit more. Actually, I can't. There's no easy access to any gold. I guess over here. Here. Let's go. Boom. Grab that gold. Grab that. Grab that 50%. Quick. Quick. Okay. <laughs> Bailed out. I gotta win the raid, right? So there you go. 5,000 Dark Elixir. Uh, I didn't get all the loot. Like I said, I wasn't going to, but it's okay. Doesn't matter. So there you go. That was a load of loot. So now, um, and it looks like, dude, I thought I was gonna lose my king, because I know he took some hit, some damage, but I've got him. That's amazing! Okay, so, 50 seconds until the army is ready, so in the meantime, let me go ahead and spend a little bit of my loot here. Um, also, between episodes, I did upgrade this gold storage, and I think both these gold and elixir collector, mines and collectors. So, I think this goes one more level up. Let me confirm that really quickly. Um, no, okay, they, they go to level 12, gotcha. And then the storages also go to level 12? No, okay, so the storages go to 11, and the collectors and mines go to 12. So I do technically need to upgrade this elixir storage to get it caught up to the rest but it's really not super priority right now. Are there any elixir upgrades left? There really aren't. Remember, I did all that last episode. So here, uh, let's look at the laboratory. Baby dragons are kind of a big priority for me, but right now I want to max out my healing spells. Okay, so I'm going to be using hogs. Hogs are dependent on healing spells. So this is obviously the next big step. So let's upgrade these healing spells. 2.5 million elixir and a five day upgrade. And I'm spending the elixir that I need to spend. So three, two, one, bam. Awesome. Okay, so now uh, let me uh, upgrade a wall or two with gold just to make a little bit of room. There we go. And now, okay, I didn't mean to go to build to <laughs> builder base, but I might as well collect stuff while I'm there. So now the army is ready. So let's go out. Let's attack with Queen Walk Hogs. This is exciting. Um, it, it's a little scary because I've hyped it up a lot. I don't want it to be like a complete failure, but it is. It's a fun strategy to use. It really is. Uh, so uh, I'll show you guys exactly what it is. The, the queen charge, the main 
priority. Ooh. I kind of have to hit this. I don't want to hit a Town Hall 8, but I need to. It's got a lot of loot. <laughs> okay, so the main priority of the Queen Charge is to absorb the Clan Castle and the enemy Queen. So if you could do both of those, then you're in good shape. So watch this. First of all, uh, these army camps are a natural funnel. So let's go ahead and start off with the Queen Charge here. I'm going to wizard this barracks just to kind of keep the Queen focused on going up instead of around. And, um, you know, what? I kind of want to... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just pretend because this base is dead, so I doubt it's going to CC. And it doesn't look like it does, though it's hard It's hard to be for sure because uh, the, the hog didn't seem like it got very close. So let's just watch and wait. I think the queen may still swing around in the wrong direction. She's level 20, okay? She's not that great. She's good, but she's not that great. So let's see what happens here. She's going to take out the Tesla, the Archer Tower, and then uh, I'm assuming go the wrong direction. And if that's the case, then I'll break her in. I'm hoping she goes to the left, though. Come on. Nice. All right. Let's drop that. And one, one, two, three, four. All those wall breakers. Just break us in, babies. Break us in. Nice. All right. King. Uh, help funnel me in, okay? King and wizards help me to stay on track. And then I've got a poison spell ready to go. So if I can take out the enemy queen and a CC, by the way, let's just make sure there's no CC by throwing it uh, into and, and, and closer to the clan castle. So there you go. CC is taken care of. So now uh, let's get the bowlers involved. Why not? And then let's also get, uh, let's get the hogs involved as well. I'm going to have the hogs focus kind of near where the queen is at. Okay, uh, Wizard Tower is going to be a problem, so let's throw in an early heal. Queen already took out that clan castle, or I'm sorry, the uh, town hall, <laughs> so that's perfect. Let's poison over the king, and now I'm kind of watching for the next splash damage building, which is obviously going to be this Wizard Tower, so I'm going to heal there. Final wizard on the, uh, on the barracks, and then I've got my corner building archers, and I don't see any corner buildings, so let's take out like this uh, air defense over here. And I'll I'll throw in the rest of the cleanup troops probably way the heck out there. Um, Queen and bowlers are kind of working. They're trying to do their thing. So, yeah, let's just back up the wizard. Very good. All right, so the queen still has her ability. That's pretty good. Normally, what I would do, and I didn't think about that till just now, is I would bring maxed out hogs for the CC. So just back up the rest of the hogs. Because notice I've run out of hogs. They're already, they're already all gone. Because... This attack strategy focuses, it's basically a 50-50 split. You get your queen charge, she really does need to survive, take out the enemy CC, take out the queen, um, and if she doesn't do that, then you're going to have a hard time being successful in this raid. Um, that's just the way it is. By the way, queen, I need you to turn around and, and go for something other than cold storages. I need to come up here for this dark elixir drill. Could you please turn around and do that? Dang it. Okay, I've got to pop my queen's ability here. Uh, but yeah, so queen takes out the, the queen, queen takes out the CC, queen takes out splash damage if possible, and then the hogs go through and you heal through like the giant bomb spots or the splash damage spots, and uh, as long as you have good heal spells, and as long as you have, like I said, some CC hogs probably would help, uh, then you're, you're golden, you're, you're gonna do fine, so I, I just ran out of time because level 20 queen's a little weaker, takes her longer to do things. But I would have, I think I would have three starred that had I had enough time. So, not bad. Amazing loot, by the way. Amazing loot. 760, 70, so thousand gold, uh, 630 or 15,000 elixir, roughly, and 5,600 dark elixir. That was a pretty good base to find. That was a pretty good base to find and a cool way to show off the Queen Walk Hog. So, I'll be doing a combination of things. I'll probably start off with the Queen Walk Hogs for the first raid. And I'm assuming the queen will die for the second raid, so I'll use a different strategy for that. But I'm going to continue to work on hogs with both raids off camera, continue to practice and remember, because it's been a while since I've done it. But that was a good example and uh, something that you guys could try out on your own base. So let me know how it goes down below in the comments. So guys, now that I've done all that, obviously I need to upgrade something. And upgrading the queen would be the smartest thing to do, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, it's only a three-day upgrade, so in three days we can come back and use the queen charge again I don't know if I'm gonna film again between now and then but Yeah, I've got the dark elixir. I need to upgrade the queen. So let's do this 42,000 dark elixir three-day upgrade in three two one BAM Now you're probably wondering wait a minute, dude. You just started a queen charge army Why would you upgrade the queen? That's because you could still do this in a way with your king It's not near as effective but it's doable. So if you're thinking about maybe trying it, 
Like, if you have to upgrade to Queen, but you still want to continue working with your hogs, then uh, stay tuned, because next episode, especially if I film before this Queen's done upgrading, uh, we'll be doing that. So, give that a try as well. So, the Queen upgraded. The uh, the King, I need 9,000 more Dark Elixir. Can I not? No, I don't have enough. That's fine. Oh, oh by the way, I got a, a um, an achievement. Well seasoned. Earned 15,000 points in season challenges. 100 free gems. Nice. And some more experience points, but no one cares about that. Okay, so I'm not going to upgrade the king, but I am going to upgrade the queen. She's done. We already did the healing spell. That will definitely help with our hog raids. So now let's focus on defenses. Now I've got nothing but air defenses left, and I'm actually going to blitz these air defenses. I'm going to get them over with. So for the next three days, I'm going to be like super vulnerable to air attacks. But then I'm done. My new air defense is maxed out. The existing air defenses are maxed out. It's going to be a good day. This is called ripping off the proverbial band-aid right just get it over with so let's do this two million gold four million gold six million gold there you go i'm basically broke now <laughs> but it's good it's really good so uh air, uh air defenses come on up here very very good um and i would like to actually do this air sweeper too but i don't have enough gold unless i do in the treasury i do in the treasury <laughs> nice 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 so actually question Actually, question. This level, yeah, this level 5 sweeper is maxed out. So that means that this one, which is going to level 3, will not be maxed out. So I'm going to upgrade this sweeper, which means I have a spare 5 million elixir. That's cool. So let me see. Maybe I can do a little bit of elixir into the walls. There we go. And I'll save the rest for armies. And let's go ahead and upgrade this sweeper to level 3. Once again, we have a couple more upgrades before we're ready. But now, again, if you find my base, make sure you bring some dragons because you build a three-star me without any spells. It's going to be awful, but then in three days, I'm going to be big and strong. Like, somebody strong. <laughs> the Hulk. Whatever. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> Sweeper upgrade is done. You know that moment when your brain, like, stops working temporarily? <laughs> That was one of those moments. <laughs> anyway, so guys, we got everything we needed to do. Queen upgrade, laboratory, loads of defenses. This is this is a terrible idea right here, but hey, you know what? In celebration of my first queen walk, why not make myself incredibly vulnerable to queen walks? Because that's that's another thing. Air defenses are really bad for healers. So there you go. <laughs> guys, that's all for me for today's video. Like and subscribe to the class family. Use that uh, creator code with the link in the description if you guys decide to buy something. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.